What's up YouTube world, it's your boy Real Tito and I'm making this video to help you guys out and show you guys my next project, my next business. I have a three head candy vending machine. I have it right here to build it. It took me about like 30 minutes to assemble it myself and it came in about two boxes. Let's see if it works, yes? So I got some M&Ms right here, bought them at BJ's. And I got the gum ball right there and the Skittles bag. This cost me about 10 bucks, 20 bucks for the gum balls and about seven bucks for the Skittles. All this stuff was bought at BJ's. And now let's check if it works. Here's the moment of truth. All right, let's take the lid off. We're gonna open up this bad boy and I'm gonna do it right here to show you guys. Oh, I almost forgot, man. I gotta wash my hands, man. I got germs on my hands. Let's go wash my hands real quick. Very important to wash your hands, yes? To keep all the germs away. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, where was I? Where's the box of M&Ms? Here it is, okay? And I got the keys inside of my pocket. Got the M&Ms right here. And let's see how much money I'm gonna be making on these vending machines. I'm confident as hell, and I'm definitely not scared of money. So sometimes for you guys that watch my videos, you guys ask me or hear me saying, oh, scared of money, don't make no money. Scared of money, don't make no money. Okay. So what I mean when I say that is for someone who's scared to make that investment, you are never going to make money back because you're scared to, to take that risk. Sometimes you make money. Sometimes you lose money. So that is what I mean by... Me saying scared of money don't make no money, which I got from Meek Mill. Anyways, I got some other business hitting me up. Let's go seal this bad boy. Here it is. I got the regular M&Ms. I got them at BJ's for about 10 bucks. Here's the key. Here's the lock. We have to center this bad boy. We're going to lock her up. Here we go. We're going to turn her. I already found a location to put this vending machine at. It's really close to my house. I gave the guy 10% and let's see wish me luck guys you know it's just something that I'm trying I don't know how much money I'm going to be making but I'm willing to take that risk all right so it's locked people can't take my stuff I'm going to put the quarter in let me just use it like this here's the quarter I just put a few M&Ms and let's see what happens let's see what happens I'm going to put it back in my pocket. Wow. That's a lot of candy. Man, I got to... Woo! How much candy are they getting? Holy smokes. This is making me hungry. Now, let's put it on the weight scale. Okay, this is for the first one. So, the first one got me 0.5. I'm get more quarters and see how much is coming out. There's 0.5, so let's add some more. So about each one, so with the second batch, now it's at 1.1 ounce. So about each one, it's about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ounces. Now you can always adjust how much candy your vending machine is giving out. And I, I think I might have to do that because I'm giving out way too much candy. But since I'm such a generous person, I'll just probably leave it like that. Um, and now let's try the gumball machine. This is the gumball machine. Let's put it right in the middle. For those of you that want to get into this business, I will be putting down links below of all the products that I'm using for you guys can start your own candy vending machine business. This is just a small stepping stone. I will be getting bigger vending machines. But for right now, this is what I'm working with. So I'm going to grab these M&Ms. Put them back in there. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course I'll make a mess. Whatever. I'm just going to pick that up later. Oops. I'm going to throw this out. Is there the three-second rule? Because I know some of you guys do the three-second rule that if food falls on the floor, you got three seconds for you to eat it. Nah, I'm just going to throw this out. Garbage. All right. Let's get the gumballs now. I got to get something to open this. All right. Get my keys out. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's get to business. Now, for the gumballs, I think I'm going to be making more money with the gumballs. Why? Because in here, there's 850 gumballs. And let's say if I sell each one for 25 cents, which I am. Let's just do the math real quick. I have... How much am I going to be making? I have 800, okay. 850 times 0 0.25, right? 850 times point, oops. 850 times 0.25. It's going to be 212 bucks that I can make off of this one box. This one box can generate me 200 bucks. So for gumballs, there's a uh, definitely higher profit margin than the M&Ms and the Skittles. But, you know, people don't always like to chew on gum. People like to have more options, all right? But let's check it out. I got to get the gum. Wow, look at this. This is cool. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, I should just put it like that, right? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Just to not... Because for me to put this inside, this is probably not... I mean, I could put it inside. But then to clean it. Now, for these machines, you have to clean them. You know, like maybe once per week. You know what I mean? For, for customers don't get sick, blah, blah, blah. And one thing about these... This candy that I'm selling right here. This is... This one has no nuts. Just the regular M&Ms with no nuts. And why am I doing it with no nuts? Because some kids have allergies. And maybe if their parents aren't paying attention. And then the kid goes to the vending machine and gets sick. And God forbid they pass away. I don't want to have that responsibility. So for me to prevent things like that happening for the future. I'm just getting the regular M&Ms. But anyways, this... I'm going to put it on the front and not from the inside, you know, and let's see. I got some gumballs right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Put a few gumballs in here. All right, all right. My quarter. Here's the quarter. Let's see, let's see what we're doing. Let's see. Dun, 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 Slam dunk, Kobe Bryant. Guys, Kobe Bryant is one of my favorite basketball players of all times. Sorry to all the Knicks players. Yeah, I couldn't make it for my list, but I still love the Knicks and I like the Nets. Anyways, so this is going to be for my, for my M&Ms, my Gumball, and my Skittles. And my next video is going to be about me going to different stores excuse me, and start talking to them and start making business with these machines. Scared of money, don't make no money. Cheap. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. I will be posting on more videos. Please like and subscribe. More videos coming. Have a blessed day. Take care.